So next up is race three, and it's the Cotswold G2 Chase. The three miles, one and a half furlongs. Great two event. G.I. Joe, top rate 175. Horse Philly on Ram Rensburg is the 15 rate favourite number one. Landscape Road for Hens is two. Castle Rock Go-Go for David Robinson is three. Darrow for Darren Thompson is four. Mott Faradini for Alex Cherry is five. Sadler's four. James Shea is six. Slow Burner for Leon Rensburg. Rensburg, seven. National awaits for Joshua Sutherland is eight. Mon Pegasus for Paul Rhodes is nine. Ysera for Darren Thompson is ten. Belmore Stone for Ponty Boy is eleven. Lady Monarch for Alex Cherry is twelve. Plainly Dangerous for Martin Ludum is thirteen. And Trivandrum for Ryan Costello makes up fourteen. So the first of 23 mile races. has been pointed out by the forum. There's plenty of G2s on day one as well. This is one of seven. We go of the first of 20 fences, they're all over it. We'll throw jump at the rear by Castle Rock a go go. Straight into the second. And then jump sweetly over that. Gonna throw the first couple of furlongs and it's Belmore Stone, Ponty Ball Racing that's gonna lead us. Now here on the new course. We're getting ready for next week. And the real Tottenham matters. And the 29 races from the festival. We get to the third. And we've already skipped over that. Is Belmore Stone. And he's given himself a seven or eight length advantage here from Sadler's Four. He's dragging along two greys, which are Trivandrum and one Pegasus up against the fence. And G.I. Joe hasn't won for the last couple of weeks. Says he needs further. And he's moved himself into a nose of second. And we've got Yesero and Darrow. Plainly dangerous in the purple silks. Slow burn up. The water, the fifth. Leaders maintained his lead, although G.I. Joe's not letting get away too far. He's probably cut it back to five lengths now. This Belmore stone from G.I. Joe, Sadler's four, and Yusero. The other six, small ditch. And he gets over that as well. It's all jumping well here on the new course. The Cotswold G2. There's Belmore stone that still leads into the seven, takes it well and fast. This is the remote. Oh, we lost one there. Lance Landscape Road's gone. A sneaky feeling he was a winner last time out. He's looking to do better in this race. I might be wrong. There was uh, Craig Allen's horse. We go over the eighth. All still on their feet there. And it's still Belmore Stone by five to six lengths from G.I. Joe, Yesero, and Sadler's four. And they're a couple of lengths away from the rest, just being pulled along by Slow Burn. And then I've got Trivandum. On Pegasus has dropped back now. Plainly dangerous, Lady Monarch. Castle Rock of Go Go. Can't see Darrow, not for a Daney, and the National Awaits at the moment. And the National Awaits obviously put her a slower pace. Four mile plus horse. Also, as Josh has pointed out. Rear. There's not many opportunities if you're a top rated uh, four miler from the first couple of weeks. So maybe some more four mile plus races to, to be had after the first couple of weeks. But it is Belmore Stone. Leads by that five now to Yesero who's moved into second as G.I. Joe takes a rest and drops back alongside Sadler's four. We've got Slow Burn Up, Trivandrum on Pegasus. Have raised there. Lady Monarch, the one nearest to us. Orange cap. Go over the tents. We're halfway through the fences. Oh, we've lost another one there. Darrow's gone. One of Darren Thompson's unlucky into the 11th. And we'll get over that, but a very poor jump there by Sadler's Fort. Shuffles back down the pack. Also, not for a dainty towards the rear. Didn't get over it. So, with a mile and a half still to go, we go out for another circuit here. Uphill. It is Belmore Stone. Just by three now to Yesero. And he's probably a further four away from Sadler's Four and G.I. Joe's. They go over the 12th. Leaders take it well. This is the rest. The grey Lady Monarch. It's the first of those greys. And on the outside of that is Castle Rock of Go Go. Followed through by Trivandrum and Fom Pegasus. The purple silks in between all of those is plainly dangerous. A couple of links back to the National Awaits. The clue is in the name. National Awaits, the horse, the National Awaits. So it is still Belmore Stone. A little rest, a couple of pulls, skips over the water. These leads now down to just three from Yesero. We've got G.I. Joe and Slow Burner together. Purple Silks are plainly dangerous, having a good ride round. Sadler's four. 
castle rock of go go as I go over the small ditch. And he jumps it well. So we have a long time lead up, Belmore Stone, just a mile to home. Go over the 16th, which is five from home, so they've got a further four to take. So Belmore Stone from Yacero, Slow Burner, G.I. Joe and Sadler's four together, and then a length and a half back to Castle Rock of Go Go and Plainly Dangerous, being pushed through between those is Von Pegasus now and Lady Monarch. We've lost the rest, we can't see in the National Weights of Montfredonian Trevendrium. And then we'll skip over the 17th. We've just three more to take, and six furlongs to travel. It's Belmore Stone being pushed. A little bit by his jockey downhill now from Yacero. Slow burner is slowly burning on the outside. G.I. Joe looking for better position. The two greys out wide. Von Pegasus and Castle Rock of go, -Go off the sh bridle now. G.I. Joe starts pushing along. They've got to catch this leader, Belmore Stone. He's been off the bridle for a little while now as we come down to the final half mile. And it's Belmore Stone. Approaches three from home. Gets over it well as does the rest. See the last couple over there. The National Weights and Trivandrum. Oh, and there is Trivandrum. So back to the front is still Belmore Stone. He's still We've got a three length advantage from G.I. Joe and Castle Rock of Go Go, followed through by Yacero, Slow Burner, Von Pegasus, and Settlers 4. It's going to be between these, but as we come inside the threes, Belmore Stone from G.I. Joe and Castle Rock of Go Go, Slow Burner on the outside, Yacero. Belmore Stone's going to have to start giving way now as we come down to a quarter mile, but still got a half a length advantage from G.I. Joe, Castle Rock of Go Go, Slow Burner, and there's a poor jump by the leader there. and. Yes, it's Slow Burner, and it's left Castle Rock of Gogo and G.I. Judge to take the last together. These two are a length ahead, going up the hill now, from Yasara in third. Sadler's four, Slow Burner trying again, but it's Castle Rock of Gogo that's half a length advantage from the great G.I. Joe up inside the final half of third, and Castle Rock of Gogo, is he going to hang on to this? Here comes back G.I. Joe again, G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe just has unbelievable turn of foot. Finally gets... Uh, Another win on the board after a couple of blank weeks. Looks ominous maybe for a gold cup horse from Castle Rock of Gogo in second. Yes, Sarah hung on for third. Slow burner for Leon as well was fourth. So G.I. Joe takes it. 175. I think it could well be a 185 horse. Who knows? Castle Rock of Gogo for Dave Robinson was second. Yes, Sarah for Darren Thompson was third. Slow burner for Leon Ram Rinsberg was fourth. And Sadler's four for James Shea was fifth.